Good morning, everyone. It's 5.08 a.m. We've got some damp weather on the way for our Thursday. Make sure you do have the umbrella before you head out the door. Most likely north of I-64, you may run into a few rain and snow showers. You can see those on the satellite and radar. So far, they've only really been across Fayette County, parts of western Greenbrier and to Pocahontas, and they'll probably stay that way for most of the day. Overnight tonight, things start to fade, though. We'll see a little bit more sun for our Thursday, and we'll be drier tomorrow and warmer, too. So a good hiking day, I think, tomorrow. And then a cold front comes in tomorrow night, so we will get the rain chances going back up into our Friday. Now, here's something squeaking during my forecast, by the way. I've got my snow boots on. <laughs> good thing to have for this type of weather. Especially if you're walking on sidewalks because that stuff's going to be sticking around the entire day and black ice again an issue too. In fact, there's a freezing fog advisory in effect for several counties in our viewing area. This is going to be Mercer and Tazewell and right out of the viewing area, Smith County. So if you are heading into those areas for work this morning, please slow down. We could definitely see some ice on the roads, on sidewalks. Good morning, everyone. At 642 AM, continuing to monitor Hurricane Matthew, now barreling into Florida. It's a Category 3 storm at this point with sustained winds at 120 miles an hour. Again, at this moment, the eye of the storm, especially that, that little right quadrant here, that's the strongest part of the storm, is just offshore. But of course, uh, the main threats again with this storm will be 60 mile per hour winds. We also have very, very heavy rain. So again, if you're heading in that general direction, you may run into some torrential downpours that may make it very hard to see. Uh, rainfall rates an inch an hour, if not a half inch an hour, where those red and oranges are. So do drive with caution. That's going to impact your morning commute for sure. A life-threatening flooding, major flooding going on, uh, not only in Greenbrier County, but in parts of Summers, Monroe. There is a flood warning uh, for the Greenbrier River at Alderson, and that goes until tomorrow morning. There's a lot mm -hmm. of important things we need to talk about. Uh, number one probably is tires. What's important about the tires to remember during the winter months? Well, uh, your tires, I mean, that's your main source of traction in the snow. Right. East of the mountains, mainly east of I-77, we're not talking about um, as much snow. You can actually see some pockets of sunshine in there today because that wind goes over that side of the mountains and it actually compresses and it warms and it dries out. So how is it out there, Catherine? <laughs> oh, it's still cold out here, guys. The wind's been picking up a little too and wind chills are actually continuing to drop. As you all know, I hung some clothing items out here a minute ago after I soaked them in water to just see how fast they would freeze, how much they would freeze. And well, it didn't take long. This was the pair of shorts I had out here earlier. It's like a piece of cardboard. And then we've got our jeans. These are jeans. Catherine, give it to us. Hi. Hey there, Bethany. Hey there, Wayne. The snow is coming down out here now. You can actually see the flakes have gotten a little bigger than they were over the past few hours. And I will say that we have officially received our first inch of snow here in Bluefield as of about 6 a.m. So I think we may have a little bit more than that now. This is a WBBA Toys for Tots update. I'm meteorologist Katherine Thompson live from the Walmart in Princeton inside this empty Toys for Tots box. We could really use your help today. Again, we're taking ages 2 to 12 toys, boy or girl, it doesn't matter. We've actually got a lot of stuff already lined up uh, over here. Tonka trucks like this. This is the perfect kind of thing uh, for kids this Christmas that are in need. Any of these toys that you see in these shopping carts will work just fine. But of course, if you don't feel comfortable getting a toy, we always take monetary donations as well, cash or checks. Good morning, everyone. I'm meteorologist. Meteorologist Katherine Thompson. I'm coming to you live right now from Concord University in Athens, West Virginia, where the Groundhog Day breakfast is getting ready to kick off here. We've been doing this tradition for a while, and uh, what this means to people is very important. We usually announce our Grand Groundhog Watcher, and he's a special guy who's played a lot of roles in the local community. He's a playwright. He actually used to work for WBBA. His name's Vane Colby, and we're going to get to that later in uh, the program. But this just in, I just found this out. Punxsutawney Phil has seen his his shadow. So we'll still have to wait to see what Concord Charlie's predictions are here. We're going to wait a little bit longer for that, but I will say that I'm leaning toward Phil on this one because meteorologically, scientifically, astronomically, there's about six more weeks left of winter. So Special good morning to the fourth graders at Glenwood Elementary. I visited them, visited them yesterday afternoon. We had a great time talking about the weather. Very smart group there. If you guys are heading off to school this morning, just have the raincoat just in case. Catherine, how's it looking? 
Not too bad at the moment, but that doesn't mean it's going to be like that the entire day. We drove through some heavy downpours on the way here. We actually got to be careful when we're standing at the edge of tents because I just got a whole like huge waterfall of water down my back just a few minutes ago. So make sure you have the ring. You're ready to go. Ponchos are in order today. Let's go. Welcome back, everyone. I'm meteorologist Katherine Thompson. Once again, I want to remind everybody where I am. I'm at Princeton Community Hospital. There is a blood drive still going on here until 4 o'clock. Donors are always needed, especially during the summertime. And Ramey has teamed up with us and the Red Cross to give you a chance of winning a free car if you just sign up. I have with me Rasmin Walker. He's with the Red Cross here, and he's going to tell me a little bit more about this. Rasmin, can you tell me why the need for blood is so great, especially at this time of year? Um, with summer in, uh, it, it, it's really important because people are on vacation. Good morning, everyone. I'm meteorologist Katherine Thompson. Happy Halloween to everyone. Don't worry, we will not see any thunderstorms today. Just my, of course, my Halloween costume. But as you're heading out the door, you could see a little fog. Saturday. Uh, we are having our second annual cast iron cook-off. This year we are fortunate to have uh, a couple of judges from WVVA, Catherine Thompson and Wayne Stafford. I am all about food. Wayne and I talk about food on the morning show all the time and people know I'm a big eater so it's probably why they picked me. You know you and Travis and like this is like this is that clip that he's going to show for like the rest of his career when he becomes a weather person. I remember when I was like five years old and I dressed it up as Kevin a lot. Smith. For some reason <laughs> every, almost every meteorologist I've talked to where a, a majority of them have had that passion for it ever since they were little so mm -hmm. well it'll be interesting to see if he really goes that way. I think so. Really cool. Yeah, very cool stuff. <laughs> Good Friday morning, everyone. It's 6.40 a.m. And of course, it's also Friday. So it's time to announce my photo of the week winner. This week's winner is Matthew Calgary. Sent us in from Cathedral Falls up in Gauley Bridge, West Virginia. Very nice picture. You can tell it's winter by the, you know, lack of foliage. But the waterfall itself is still beautiful. And of course, to get these gorgeous waterfalls, we've got to have some good rain. And we definitely have been soggy for most of this weekend. Guess what, guys? More rain rolling in this morning. So don't forget that raincoat before you head out the door. Satellite and radar is showing these showers pushing through the area. Again, the rain will be heaviest, most steady, really, through the morning hours. But you can already see some drier air working in on the backside uh, of this warm front that's lifting in. So in a few hours, maybe through lunchtime, we'll actually become more spotty in nature with the showers. And we actually should be kind of dry into the afternoon. Just lots of lingering clouds left over. But it will be a wet morning commute, so do keep that in mind. Cool out there. Temperatures for most in the 40s. But again... This is really mild for January, still above normal. You can tell where the cool spots are. We've got some cooler air locked up in Greenbrier, Pocahontas County. Lewisburg's at 42, so is Marlinton, but not too big of a difference between the rest of us. And most of us will be still well above normal into the afternoon. We're talking about temperatures nearing 60 again today. Mostly cloudy, again, some rain around mainly this morning. And then I think, again, we'll kind of dry out for the afternoon. And tonight looks fair, just partly cloudy and cool. Temperatures again tonight should be again in the 40s. Looking at our future cast model, again, you can see the warm front that I was talking about. This is coming through this morning. It actually stalls across the area, but the best energy, the best lift with this system moves out this morning. So by this afternoon, very spotty hit or miss type showers. Not as heavy as we're seeing now. Again, that front kind of stalls into tomorrow too, but not a whole lot with it. It's just going to bring some clouds, some very spotty stuff through Saturday. Maybe tomorrow night we start to get some moisture in here uh, from a second system that's getting ready to move in. So maybe by tomorrow evening we'll pick up on a few showers, but still nothing really heavy expected until we get into Sunday afternoon and Monday. The National Weather Service is actually looking at some severe weather to our south across the deep south. Here, look at that gray though. We could actually see a couple of thunderstorms in our area. The biggest concern for us anywhere from Sunday, Monday, and even into Tuesday of next week is going to be flooding, not major flooding, just some localized minor stuff as of now. But it's going to be the heavy rain. Could have some wind in there, too, on the back side of that system. Remember, with wet soil, wouldn't take much to take a tree down. So that's something we're watching very closely into next week and stay tuned with us. But again, as your seven-day, looking at it as a whole, kind of wet through next week again. And notice our temperature trend by the end of next week. Most of us are going to see those winter numbers, those normal numbers for January come back in. Maybe even some snow showers by the end of next week as well. So stay tuned. Guys, over to you. All right. Thanks, Catherine.